his breath on. <laughs> Smells like old fish. <laughs> Hi guys, um, today is my last day of work and then we start with the preparation for the boat to go to Albania. It's only a couple of days crossing, but before we set off we have to make sure that everything is working. Uh, we've been out of the water for six months, so we don't work on the furling, on the, we change all the seacocks. We did work on the engine as well, uh, and we're just going to stay one day in Malta, do a quick run test. And then once we're confident that everything is working, then we'll set off to, to Albania. And um, once we get there, hopefully we start filming full time, which I'm very excited about it. We'll keep you updated anyway. Uh, okay, so I'll speak to you later. Bye. She said when I die, come back as a butterfly and everyone will know my name. The name they give the hurricane and it's and if I can't fly. At least I can get started Building it up for a while You don't know, you don't care no You gotta run just to get started You gotta keep up just to get started Part of my tongue just to get started Gotta give your head up just to get started You gotta run just to get started You gotta be tough just to get started Part of my tongue just to get started Gotta give your head up just to get started Ready? Yeah! Wait, not quite. Not quite, what do you need? So, what are we going to? Muko Vega Beach. I got the phone. Okay. Got some aerial shots. I got your sunglasses. I got my sunglasses. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, because the sun is out. Cool. Let me set it. So, what is in Muko Vega Beach? Don't actually know. <laughs> so we're just gonna dinghy around the corner where we came from at night, and uh, yeah, let's see if the beach is any nice. I haven't been there yet, so it's gonna be all new. Okay, so we're going to uh, Mukobega Beach, which is about four miles from here. We're gonna take the drone, we're gonna take the dinghy, um, and then we're gonna hike up there. Also, uh, there seems to be like some uh, bunkers that uh, is for protection from the. The bay, I believe, is from the Turks or the Greek. I'm not very really sure, but I'll find out about it. We're just gonna close everything up. Mm -hmm. Oh,
again. such a great feeling, especially in a country we've never visited before and know so little about. After spending seven months on the Hark in Malta, preparing to sail around the world and ticking off items from our seemingly endless Essentials Projects list, we finally got Cuba back into the water. With only two months delay, but just in time for Enrique's birthday. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> ah, I'm stuck. So gracious! <laughs> Have you done the dishes? Yes. It's a bit of wood. Or, no, actually. No, it's not clay. Obviously, it's not real. Obviously, it's not real. It's not an AK 47. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we put it back where it belongs to. I don't think this is a tourist area really. There's a fence for you not to go over it. There's no hiking trail. There's no signs of you know the bunkers or anything. You can only see them in Google Map. There's not gonna be any mines around here, are there? Just walk light. Lightly. Right. You know what? It seems doesn't go to plan, okay? The there, is, there is always a cemetery there. <laughs> what is this? A vegetable dome. Is this an onion? <laughs> I don't think it's an onion, man. Eh? I think it's genetically it's modified. It's, size of the head. it's huge, eh? It's huge. <laughs> onion. <laughs> Something that rotates here, a big gun. This is huge. When we set off for our hike, we did not realize the scale of what we found. Because this is just a small part of an estimated 750,000 concrete bunkers scattered across the entire country. Socialist leader Enver Hoxha, haunted by paranoia of an invasion, set out to create what is now known as the bunkerization of Albania. Today, 35 years later, we can only imagine living in such uncertainty and fear that one day the sirens will go off. Fortunately, these bunkers were never used. Albanians resourceful by nature, are now flipping the script by giving these objects new lives as restaurants, museums, and even homes, turning this ugly heritage into a tourist attraction.
rest van trio is. Het liefst. Ja, nog lekker zo van. John actually tried to attack me, I think. Oh, it's gonna go for me. <laughs> Wait. Mm -hmm. 